Hey guys, it's been a long time since I last made a tutorial. I thought I was all finished with making tutorials due to loss of interest. But anyway, here I am with another tutorial for you guys. I'm going to show you how to type international characters in Windows 10. Now there are two things I want to tell you before I begin showing you how to do this. Number one, this only works with Windows. I'm not familiar with Macs, so I don't know how you would do this in a, with a Mac computer. And number two, this only works with languages that use the same characters as the English language does. So, the first thing you want to do is go to settings. So I have my uh, settings icon here in the taskbar. If you don't have yours pinned to the taskbar, you can open up the start menu and go to settings. Next you want to click on time and language. And then you want to click on language. Alright, so you may see this uh, little add a preferred language thing here and you may be thinking oh great I can add my language right here but if you do it that way you will have to get a new keyboard for your computer and I, I doubt you want to do that if you can simply use shortcuts which is the way I'm, I'm going to show you right now so instead of adding a new language you want to click on English United States I think it might only work for this particular language English United States but I could be wrong so you want to go to where it says add a keyboard and click on that and scroll down to United States International now if you're like in the UK or in Australia I don't know what you would do um, but um, if you're living in the United States, if this is the language that you have set up, um, click on United States International. And once you do that, you should have these two languages, or sorry, two keyboards. They're not languages, they're keyboards right here. US QWERTY and United States International QWERTY. All right, so close that down. Now this method is completely useless unless you are familiar with the shortcuts. So I'm going to put this link in the description below. You will want to take a look at this because this will come in handy when you're using these shortcuts. It tells you exactly what you need to do in order to type um, these characters with accents. You know, umlauts, tildes, um, you know and so on but not only are you able to type that but you also um, you're able to type these symbols as well like the cent sign the British pound and so on so it's very very this method is very very useful uh, not only for when you're um, typing international characters but also you know if you want to for example, type a division sign, or if you want to type a copyright symbol. But anyway, um, this video should help you type uh, international characters. Now, one thing you might want to do, this is just a preference thing, is you might want to have this little button show up in your taskbar. This button right here um, allows you to switch between the different keyboards that you have that you've added to your computer so you click this button and the languages pop up or sorry the keyboards so you click US keyboard if you want to just stick with regular um, the regular keyboard if you want to um, if you want to type you know in Spanish or in German or you know and so on you can use the international keyboard right here and if you want to go crazy with like using copyright symbols or whatever this keyboard can come in handy with that as well 
if you don't if you do not see this button in the taskbar um, you can right click on your taskbar go to taskbar settings scroll down to where it says turn system icons on or off and you what you want to do is switch the input indicator to on now I actually ran into a little issue earlier I don't remember how I fixed the issue but when I switch this to the on position that um, button would still not show up in the taskbar so uh, if you run into the same issue please let me know and I can help you out alright thank you for watching um, I honestly don't think I'll be uploading a, t a tutorial anytime soon. I think this might have been just like a one once a one time thing, but um, if I do think of another tutorial to upload to YouTube, I will make it. Thank you for watching.